Shakina shoplifts from trendy clothing stores at the local mall. She developed a reputation as a booster, selling the clothes that she stole, and she was successful at it. It made her pretty popular in the community, but it also made her pretty popular with police. She did what she needed to do to support that habit, and it got her locked up a few times. And through all of her brushes with the law, her closest sibling still has her back. Anytime my sister needed anything, help, I, I was there for her. You know, I was like, we gonna do this, we gonna make it, we gonna get through this. So finally, in her early 20s, after several years of disappointing her family and herself, Shakina makes the decision to enter into drug rehab. Shakina committed herself to getting better, getting clean, staying that way. Things were looking good. I was very happy for her. Deep down inside, I know she wanted to, you know, do what was right. Then one day, during a group therapy meeting, Shakina catches the eye of a handsome fellow patient, 39-year-old Dion Banks. Dion Banks was this tall, good-looking guy. She immediately was drawn to him. She wanted to get to know him better, so she introduced herself to Dion. The two begin talking after meetings and develop an intimate rapport. They build a relationship on a foundation of friendship and honesty. He had trouble with the law, trouble with gangs, and that he was in prison for murder. Most women would have run away from a situation like this. But what happens in many situations when we're talking about drug abuse treatment, it's about not making value judgments, and it really is about redemption and forgiveness. Shakina and Dion's budding relationship seems more stable and intimate than anything she's felt before. But the two will have to wait before they can express their feelings physically. When we look at drug abuse treatment, it is very frowned upon uh, for the patient or the person going through the rehabilitation to engage in romantic liaisons because it's really easy for that drug dependency behavior to now be transferred to a codependency behavior in a sexual or loving relationship with someone else. Dion and Shakina tried hard to abide by the rules, and they grew even stronger. When I met him, he was a okay guy, but I just felt like he was older than her. He was too old for her at the time. I kind of felt like something was wrong with him. I just didn't feel like that was the right person for her. And when they're each released, Shakina is sober and feeling on top of the world, ready to face the streets of Chicago and remain drug-free with her man. She continued her